I actually trained with little mini frisbees, a uh, seven pound chihuahua. I also trained a 260 pound mastiff to get the frisbee. I've taught a giraffe to get the frisbee, an African lion, a white tiger, I have, and get a load of this, a monkey who threw it back to me. It was a, a dead serious, a beautiful spider monkey. Friends of ours in Wild About Monkeys has a spider monkey, I threw it. It caught it, it threw it back, just like this. It's amazing. So anyway, all you have to do is have th three things in play. Play drive, prey drive, and food drive. Now, play drive, of course, is the interaction between you and the animal. Prey drive is something especially motivating for dogs. And, of course, food drive, if you do uh, make something with the Frisbee that gets it involved with food, of course, the dog is going to like it. The first thing that I do, when I, whether I have a puppy or I even have an older dog that I want to get the frisbee, is do not get the frisbee, go up to the dog and go, hey, hey, look, look, I think you can get it. I don't care if it gets a bouncing ball. I don't care what it does. You do not throw it through the air at first. What we need to do is just learn prey drive, food drive. Those are the two dominating things in a dog. So what we do is we get the frisbee. We put for three days, we don't even throw the frisbee through the air or do anything with it, we feed it out of the frisbee. We give it its food. We leave that frisbee in with it. We let it smell it, we let it play with it. If it chews it up, you get another one. You put its food in it, and then after three days, you go into the kennel. What do you do? You come out there and you pick up its food dish, and you start going like this and raving it through the air. All of a sudden, he's going, hey, all he knows is for three days you've been feeding him out of food with it. So what is he going to do? He has my food dish. So now what do you do? You've attracted him with food. Now you're going to attract him not only with food, but with something called prey drive. If you take any dog from a chihuahua to a mastiff and anything in between and you go in the mountains and you leave it in the mountains for three or four days, it's going to help. It's going to get dehydrated. It's going to seek water and it's going to seek food. That is prey drive. The prey drive comes out, goes back to the wolf, and it wants to start to hunt. Now, when a dog starts to hunt, what is it looking for? A steak? A piece of chicken? A rib? No. It looks for a rabbit on the ground. It looks for a squirrel. It looks for bugs. It looks for something moving on the ground. Prey drive is initiated the minute this happens. See that rolling on the ground? They're not seeing a rolling frisbee. What a dog is seeing is something inside called prey drive. It's going after like a running animal. This is primal. Now what you put on top of it is their dog dish that you've been feeding out of it. All of a sudden food drive and prey drive come to mind. Then with interacting with you, it's play drive and we're gonna show you how it's done. Eight months old. This beautiful uh, Australian cattle dog is now starting to catch him out of the air and we're going to show you how to do it. Here he comes, it's Superman's dog, his name is Crypto! All right. <laughs> well, my voice is going, I wish you had your microphone. Back. Now, Crypto is eight months old. I've done everything for all my Frisbee dogs for 25, 30 years. The first thing we do is on the ground, what, what do I say we do? We feed him out of it. Well, he's past that. But what, but what do we do? We roll it. What's that? That's prey drive. You can see he's automatically going for it, and he starts to bring it back. We're going to do it again. You can see how the dog goes for it. He's running after it like it was a sheep, like it was something. Now, look, look, he's, look at that. Look at that anticipation. Now, we're going to be using that anticipation in just a minute. Okay, so now you can see we've gone from the food, we've gone to the roller. Now, what's the first throw that we do out of the air? You get up and just throw it? No, we call it a fake. You've got to fake him out. Since we have him so enthralled in getting the frisbee on the rollers, watch the head fake. Watch this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at his body. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw the roller first. He goes after the roller. Now, because we know that he's going to go after the roller, we're going to do a fake of the roller and then just throw one two feet in the air. Here we go. Fake the roller up in the air. There we go. Come on. You have to fake the roller up in the air. 
you can see he goes, fake the roller up in the air. Okay, good boy. He's, he's got this down. Wish we had a little wind. We never have any wind in this little part. So we're going to do it again. As you see, the first thing you want to do, okay, we're going to go after the roller first. This one gets him going. So he knows that the roller's coming. So then we go here and we fake the roller up in the air. And we...